I'm here at EGX 2016. I've just had a go at a signal from Tolva. Um, I'm here with James, he's one of the designers on the game. Um, give us a bit of an idea of what is Signal for Tolva. Okay, so Tolver. Signal for Tolva is a combat and exploration game. You have hacked into a drone who is one of a faction of three drone, uh, three factions who are fighting for control of Tolva, which is a planet uh, which is covered in ancient alien technology, which all three factions are trying to get control of. Uh, you have taken over one of the drones and you have to influence the combat and influence the war by making sure that the Surveyor faction, which is the faction you've hacked into, win the, win the fight. Um, so from playing it, it's, it's it seems like it's got quite a lot of a freeform feel to it. Yeah. Is that something that you really wanted to have? So it's like, yeah. you're very much on the outside looking in and, and, and kind of finding your own path in the game. Yeah, I mean, all, all the stuff that we've done has kind of been open world and making sure that you can kind of choose your own direction and that the systems in the world kind of go on without you kind of having to be there sort yeah. of thing. So all of the factions in the game uh, have different bunkers that they control and each one of those bunkers will issue squads out into the world who will go on their own missions to take over other bunkers or to uh, go and gather resources for their bunker and that kind of thing. Uh, so it's all kind of happening whether you're there or not. So yeah. it's kind of, we want you to have a, a sense that you can just go out into the world and choose your own direction, yeah. One of the things I did notice is there's quite a lot of uh, like mechanics and tools for you to use in the game. So. Is that something that you wanted to have? Have because I mean, really, there's not really anything you can't interact with. Everything that's not grass or rocks, you can learn something about and, yeah. and find out about whether it's hostile or whether it's on a mission or yeah. or what it's doing there. Basically, yeah. is that something you've had? It's deep, quite deep in the lore as well. Yeah. So you kind of like you're talking about the sort of scanning stuff where you can like look at a yeah, robot yeah. and see what missions it's on, or you can look at a building and get some background mm -hmm. history and some lore about that. Yeah. So we've got quite a lot of detailed lore that we're building into that. Um, uh, we've got a, a kind of, it's being novelized slightly by okay. a, a sort of trying to build in that, um, uh, uh, yeah, the kind of rich sci-fi history, because this is all like clearly sort of heavily sci-fi yeah. influenced and there's a kind of, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's an aesthetic there we're yeah. trying to go for, yeah. Definitely. So where does the story progress further on? Is it, is it you following throughout the path of the entire yeah. war or just trying to influence one part so of a greater battle? You can have different endings to the game, so depending on what you choose and what, how, how the, the game goes for you, you can make a different choice and you can have different outcome for Tolva and for the faction that you've allied with, or you can choose to not, it's up to you, I'm not going to break, give too much yeah. away, but there, yeah. So there's, there is a story that progresses throughout it and you find more and more stuff out about it. And the signals that you're looking for as you're going around scanning different bits of old ancient technology reveal the story slowly as yeah. you do that. Yeah. So is it, a lot of it is actually found, the game's found through like environmental stuff then. So you kind of yeah. you find the story as you progress through yeah, it, as opposed to it being narrated to Yeah, you, you get there's it. you have like a handler, there's like a controller entity who kind of passes you information and tells you what the surveyors mm. are thinking, like because you've hacked into that faction, you're not actually of that faction yourself, you're just like a, a third party who's kind mm. of trying to influence the war. So your handler will talk to you and tell you what's going on and what he thinks the surveyors are thinking mm. and the kind of the way that they're reacting to how the how the war is progressing and, and the information that you're finding out for them. You get all that information back from them and from the controller. One thing that did stand out to me is, and I don't think it's a sentence I ever said before, but the combat is gorgeous. Oh, thank like you. The lasers <laughs> and, and just like, the, the, I mean, everything from the visuals through to the sound and the physicality of it, like there's a, there's an, there's kind of like an energy feel from the weaponry. Is that Ooh. something that you spent quite a lot yeah. of time working on? I mean, you notice that when you reload, you, you actually putting energy from yeah, your yeah. reactor back into the weapon. So you don't have like an ammo clip you put in or anything like that. Your robot has a reactor and he's powering the weapon. So you get like a big pulsing cable yeah. of power going into it. So yeah, that kind of transfer of energy yeah. and basically, so it's the signal from Tolva, right? So there's the whole electromagnetic spectrum and the kind of energy transfer and all that kind of stuff going on there. And the emanations from the signals when you go and scan them, that's kind of energy based and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, there's yeah, that. And, and obviously you said a lot of it being energy based. That's what we did. You wanted to get it because like, the pulses are quite a violent sound and a mm. violent, quite a bright. You know, when there's a battle going on, like a five v five, two little yeah. groups, yeah. is you can you can basically see nothing but especially the at night, right? So, so yeah, there's, it's so so there's big flashes going on yeah. at night, and your 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 energy effect weapons, the, the area of effect weapons that fly yeah. out, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we wanted that kind of nice, rich palette of colours, yeah. and yeah. yeah. Uh, one thing I did notice as well, which is kind of rare, is that the style and kind of the emptiness of the game is reflected actually in your artwork as well, yeah. uh, this big mural here. Yeah, so the, the guy who's actually done the art for us is a guy called Ian McHugh, mm -hmm. who's the guy who did all the GTA art, so all that kind of iconic character oh, cool. art for GTA. Uh, and like, But what he really likes doing is drawing spaceships and robots. So he got hold of us, he, he played our last game, So You're Being Hunted, and he really liked that, mm -hmm. and we, so we got started talking to him. And uh, yeah, he liked what we were doing, and so we kind of, the whole world of Tolver has kind of spawned out of his artwork. So oh, cool. it was really important for us to make sure that we kind of reflected his art in our 
style when we did the 3D stuff, so that we took his concept art and kind of tried to bring that to life in, in, in the game art. And is that a big, art. big influence for you guys in terms of developing and just yeah, kind of, really kind of massively. having such a strong style to work from, from someone yeah, so iconic as absolutely, well? Absolutely, yeah, it's really, really key. If you go and look at any of McHugh's stuff, it's like it's all really, really, really fantastically detailed yeah. and, and, and all this kind of really painterly stuff and like a broad palette strokes mm. and stuff. And it's really, really nice. And that we wanted to kind of bring that in through to the whole of the game and, yeah. and make sure that that was really well reflected. Yeah. So and I think we've done all right with that. I think yeah, that looks it, looks, it looks gorgeous. Thanks, it looks man. Gorgeous, so. <laughs> so, I mean, as, as the game progresses further on, is it is it more combat? Do you find yourself getting more in deep into the war? And, yeah, and, so and it, it, the elements of the gameplay change a lot from the start to the I wouldn't finish, say it or? changes a lot, but it definitely deepens, so you get a richer experience. That you, you unlock a whole bunch of different modules throughout the game. You get to a point not too far from where you got to, actually, where you can uh, unlock a module that lets you control other robots. Okay. So you actually then recruit other robots into your squad okay. deliberately, and you can give them orders. You can say, you guys go over there and attack that guy, or you guys stick with me, and, and we'll go off and fight this bunker together and attack this bunker together. So yeah, and, and you have, like, different energy suits that you can wear that let you go into more hazardous areas so like radiation areas or chemically hazard areas or um, yeah and, and different area of effect weapons and different just plain guns and stuff that you can change so there's a whole range of different I mean you might have noticed when you were playing that like, kind of systems management thing yeah, going yeah, on yeah, where yeah. you have to make sure that you've got your shields up at the right time yeah. and that you're managing your area of effect weapon and that you're falling back properly so your shields can regenerate so you're kind of doing that systems management stuff quite a lot so and that kind of gets deeper as you unlock yeah. more stuff. I find that's, and that's something that I, I find to be quite rare in a lot of modern games, especially first-person shooters. Is that there's like a resource management. It kind of feels like RTS style, mm. or like you know, games like Rome Total War, where you have to kind of manage your resources while you're in the middle of a big battle. Yeah. But it's in the first-person shooter standpoint. Yeah. Like, something that took me a bit of getting used to is managing my shields and then yeah. managing my ammo at the same you're time. You're getting the hang of it by the end, yeah, man. You're yeah, getting it. That. <laughs> that's the thing is, it's not a steep learning curve. It's just knowing that. I've got these two things, one of which usually works automatically or something. If I've got to do something, I'm going to use it at the right time. Is that yeah. something that you, you notice has been different and we wanted to bring in yourself and, and kind of give an extra depth to the combat? Yeah, I think I think we always wanted to make sure that you had to sort of manage some systems rather than we were just running around and shooting stuff. We yeah. wanted you to, have a, to, to think about combat a bit more. So like you might have noticed that when you're uh, approaching a target area that it's a good idea to get your binoculars out and tag all the targets first yes, and see yeah. what guns they've got and what ranks those boat bots are yeah. and what, what their weapon is so that you can kind of get an idea for what the fight will be like and what you'll and so maybe like actually there's too many guys there I better go and get some recruits to come yeah. with me and help me do that mission so yeah it's, you, we're trying to sort of make sure that you're thinking about an encounter rather than just running through and blatting everything here. So when can I, I'm look, looking forward to get more, more, cool. more into it. Well, that's good to know. Uh, when can I look forward to, to playing it so and, and on 20, what platform? 2017. Okay. Uh, and uh, at the minute we're PC and Mac. Uh, we're looking at doing Linux and uh, we are talking about doing console stuff potentially as well. But at the minute just PC and Mac confirmed. Early 2017. 2017. I look forward to it. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks, today. man. Nice to meet you. Very much. Cheers. Bye. I'm here at EGX 2016. I've just had a got to have a We're here at EGX 2016. Name of the game that we're about to do. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm blagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016. That sounded really weird. <laughs>